yo oops what it do baby boo welcome back to another poppin ass video <laughs> It's been a while since I've made a video and I feel like I always say this but I just feel like you know I just realized that like a lot of youtubers pick a specific day they're gonna upload or whatever it's just like hard to find things to vlog about so that's why I'm like <laughs> when I first started my channel I was wanting it to be like a 420 friendly sort of deal like like a weed tube, I guess you could say. Yeah, and then I turned out to be pregnant. And now I'm like trying to think of different videos I want to do that revolves around that topic, I guess. Even though it takes forever to make a video, I still plan on making one. And I'm going to work on being more consistent for sure because I do want my channel to grow. I'm really feeling like I'm in that like nursing stage now with my pregnancy. I don't know if it's too early or if I'm just overthinking it, but I'm pretty sure that I'm really starting to feel like that nesting need, like the need to just nest and make my house more organized, cleaner. Every little speck in the room bothers me, like when a blanket's not folded in the background, which we'll ignore for now. Because I just want everything to be perfect for the baby. I want my baby to have enough space and I want him to have everything that he needs, you know? So I just look at the whole entire room and I already know like there's a lot to do. Like I'm gonna rearrange everything. <laughs> this video is gonna be about how to deal with the stress when you're pregnant, how to, how to relax, different kinds of ways you can meditate. Um, I know that for me, like that's been one of the main focuses um, while being pregnant because whatever you feel your baby feels it too so if you're sad or depressed or you're feeling really stressed out you're really angry your baby will feel that too so and that's not really healthy well for starters I just want I do want to say um, that you do want to get as much sleep as possible. So whether that's sleeping in late or um, going to bed early, that is another that is a good method on how to reduce your stress is getting enough sleep. More sleep does equal less stress. So sleeping does allow your brain to restore those neurotransmitters that can become used up of its supply during your time awake. So um, I was also told not to be afraid of sleeping too much because if being pregnant is hard, you know, like the girl took a nap. Eating right is good for your brain, body, and your baby. So eat regular meals to stabilize your mood because low blood pressure does cause you to feel a little bit more tired and irritable. So here I'm just making a quick, simple, really easy, very healthy snack that I love to make. And it's very hydrating because it's cucumbers. And I don't know, cucumbers are just a relaxing vegetable or fruit. Is it a fruit? Cucumbers are high in nutrients and they do contain antioxidants, if I'm saying that right. They are really hydrating, good for weight loss, and overall just a really refreshing snack. Another way that I relieve my stress is I literally just go for a simple walk. Especially when it's nice out and like it smells so nice out here. So I don't ever time my walks. I just go and come back whenever I'm tired. But I usually take this time to meditate and really connect with my baby and outdoors and just think really positive thoughts. I'm like out of breath. <sighs> and I've been walking for like two minutes. Nice and cool. 
hold. This is getting hard, right? Do you feel it getting hard on your face? Mine's kind of getting hard. I can already feel it. Smoky. <laughs> Along with pampering yourself, I do want to do a hair mask since I haven't ever done one before. So the first thing I have here is the bowl to mix the hair mask in and some regular plain yogurt. You do want to make sure it's plain. Some organic honey, it can be raw or whatever your choice. And some regular olive oil. So here I am using the whole cup of yogurt, which is going to naturally condition my hair and it does help maintain the natural texture as well as adding some shine to it. So next I'm going to be putting three teaspoons of honey, which also does contain moisturizing properties, and two tablespoons of oil, olive oil, and it is the healthiest oil that you can use for your hair. Next I'm just gonna mix it up here. So I do have a lot of hair and it's very thick. So I do want to brush it out just to make sure that I get the whole product into my hair. So I did find it slightly hard to apply this product into my hair since it was really sticky and I have tons of hair. As you can see, my ends are really dead. So I just tried my best to get it everywhere. I split my hair into two pieces and I wrapped it up, let it sit for 30 minutes. 